I'm Clay Carlino, and I really wasn't planning on doing a video tonight. Because, you know, I already recorded, like, two earlier today. And, and then spent the day editing, and, and I... But, doesn't matter, because... I gotta get this on video for you to watch. And here it is. This is the composite video cable that I ordered online for my retro pie, but it's not right. Here, let me show you why. Now you can see that this plug has several connection points, which I've illustrated here just to make it a lot easier for you to see. The way that this plug is wired up, this band is the ground, this band is the video, and then these two bands are the left and right audio. The problem is that the your retro pie that I'm using needs a plug that is oriented with the ground here and the video here, and then the two audio channels are still there. Now, you might be thinking that that means that I need to go online and order a different plug or return this one and look for another one, but you know that that's not what I'm going to do. All I need to do is reverse these so that the yellow goes into the black and the black goes into the yellow. All right, are you ready to see what happens here? I just plug in my cable. Boom, look at that. Except almost, because if you notice, I only have the video plugged in. When I plug in the audio, watch what happens. See? And the reason for that is, well, pretty obvious. So I should have figured this, but I, I just didn't. <sighs> the problem is that even though I switched the, the ground and the video on the one plug, the other plugs still have their audio going to the video connector. So it's creating interference and I'm not going to get my audio. So I need to further rewire this plug. Yeah, that sucks. So fast forward, I have now rewired everything and no, I didn't even bother shooting it because honestly, how boring would it be to watch me strip still more wires and solder them together badly? But I did draw out what I did so that if anybody out there actually wants to know how to do what I just did, this is it. Remember that in the plug side, yeah, on the plug side, the ground was coming from where the video was supposed to be. So, in order to wire everything up correctly, the red wire had to go to the red wire, then the black wire, which is the ground to the, to the right audio, has to go over to the yellow wire. Same with the left, which is on the white wire. The white wire gets connected to the white wire, and then the black wire, again the ground, connects to the yellow wire. And then, of course, with the video line, which had the yellow and the black, the, this is where it gets reversed. The yellow goes to the black wire, and the yellow wire goes to all three black wires. Yeah, I know, that's a lot of wire, 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 uh, just, you know, freeze this image and look at it if you ever actually need to do this. But, uh, there you go. And here's proof that it worked. Alright, so there's no movie magic going on here. You can see that I have 
the audio video cables hooked up at least as much as is possible with this TV since it's not in stereo. And then here's the wires and here is my freshly modified plug and I'm just going to connect that right into the AV port and look at that. <laughs> yeah! My retro pie is now hooked up to a composite TV. That's great. Now I think that I'm still getting a little tiny bit of interference on here, probably because of all the butchering I did. Uh, that's the sacrifice when you start screwing around with audio video cables. You, especially with an analog signal, uh, you're going to lose quality. So at some point I will probably hunt out the correct cable and just replace this, but I was really anxious to make sure that this would work. And so I just cut into my brand new cable. It was a cheap cable anyway. So, you know, I'm actually kind of happy for the experience to know how these cables work and know what the difference is. So there you go. If you like this video or you like any of my other videos, please feel free to subscribe, click the thumbs up button. Other than that, seeing how not to be afraid to hack into your brand new composite video cables that you bought for your RetroPie, but don't actually work with your RetroPie. This is Clay Carlino telling you to be brave. Yay!